tell us a little history on how Fall Fest got started. Fall Fest was started many years ago. I don't even actually know the actual date when it started, but it was uh, a, a piggybacked with the Barn Fest in a cooperation where we could do two different things because they were filling up too fast, and so we ended up bringing vendors up here, and, and it worked out really good. So it's been probably going for at least 20 years. What are some of the things that people can find at Fall Fest? Well, we have crafters, we have vendors, we have food, we have uh, a new, brand new car show, we're going to have a scarecrow contest, we've got just lots of things for everybody to do. You can uh, Farmer's Market will be here, and we'll have a shuttle bus that will run from Barn Fest to Fall Fest. When and where will this take place? Fall Fest is on the square, and it runs the same time as Barn Fest from 10 to 3. Barn Fest is at the ice rink. Fall Fest is on the square. If you want to park in one spot or the other, there is a shuttle that will go from one place to the other about every 15 to 20 minutes. It's uh, air-conditioned vans, and you can ride up here to see things, or you can ride out, out to the Barn Fest to see things. So it's, it's, it takes place on the 22nd of September. Tell us about the Scarecrow Contest. Well, this is something that we've been doing for about five or six years where people can come up and decorate one of the poles in the downtown, and they can make a Scarecrow, and we give away a, a, tra a traveling trophy prize this year, something new that we're going to do. But it's a great way to get involved and put up a Scarecrow and have fun. And it's free. If people would like to find out about Fall Fest or upcoming events, how could they? Well, they can go to our website, which is brianchamber.org, or they can call our office, or they can check us out on Facebook. We are out there, uh, and we do, do still have some booth space available, so if somebody wants to be a vendor, they can do that too. But check us out on Facebook, check us out on the web, or give, us our, give our office a call at 419-636-2247. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. This is Haley Johnson reporting for the Bryan Digital Media Club. Thank you for coming on board as a charity and student sponsor. What are your thoughts on this program? I think it's great. It's another way for businesses to advertise what they're doing in the community and advertise our business on our, on our different products. What other community activities do you support? Well, if I only have to name a few, um, definitely Relay for Life. And then I am the president of the Mount Pillar Chamber of Commerce. I am the board member of the West Unity Chamber of Commerce. Uh, we do a lot of local um, community events with our schools and a lot of veteran activities. Thank you for all you do for the community. Thank you. Thank you for coming on board as a student sponsor. What are your thoughts on this program? I think it's a good program. I think it lets the students get out, find out about the community themselves, plus educating the community on what's in the community and getting acquainted with the students. What other community activities do you support? Um, right now I'm in the local Bryan Area Business Women's Club. Um, I've done junior achievement over the years. Um, I've done Ronald McDonald House over the years. Uh, there's several that I have supported, but right now that's businesswomen's my main concern. Well, thank you for all you do for the community. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for being a student sponsor. What are your thoughts on this program? Oh, we love it. I mean, me and my two partners, we all have children, and we love we love to see the community get together and, and rally around you know young young kids and you know, support them in their efforts. Um, so we, we really appreciate the opportunity. We think it's a good thing. And, you know, it just it shows uh, the strength of the community. What other community activities do you support? So as far as Elite Electrical Solutions, we are part of the Mount Pillar Chamber of Commerce and the Bryan Chamber of Commerce. So we, we try to join a lot of events with them. Um, we also, you know, personally, I do some mentoring with uh, the First Lego League um, out of Bryan, and then also we'll be joining the uh, robotics team out at Northwest State. Thank you for all you do for the community. Thank you. Thank you for coming on board as a student sponsor. What are your thoughts on this program? Oh, I think it's neat and exciting, and I think uh, sponsoring gives us a way to reach out to the local community, and that's what uh, small business is all about in this area. What other community activities do you support? 
Uh, well, we like to support the Chamber of Commerce, and I think that's our best avenue to get out to local businesses. And then we have some small uh, charitable companies that we like to, Sarah's Friends is one that uh, I've supported for many years. Thank you for all that you do for the community. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you.